today we're going to be talking about stone bream. Uh, stone bream, Neoscarpus lithophilus. Um, it's a very common fish. They are actually very nice eating if you can get past the common name which is stinker. Now that name comes from it being a vegetarian, it has a very very long gut. So often when you catch them you see they're very fat, similar to bronze bream. And when you cut it open, if you do nick that gut, the smell of the decomposing vegetation is um, potent, if we can call it that. Um, stone bream, they are in endemic, similar to the diamond skate that we spoke about. They occur from False Bay all the way up to southern Mozambique, so that's their limited uh, distribution. They don't occur anywhere else in the world. They can attain over 50 centimeters, which is a, a three kilogram stone bream, but you're more likely to catch smaller fish in about the 500 gram to a kilo. Uh, they occur in very similar areas to bronze bream. So those, those ledges with the rolling water is where you want to be targeting them because they have a very similar feeding habit. They also have sharp teeth for, for grazing on the rocks and eating the red and green algae. Um, the best way of actually finding the stone room is to walk along the beach and you'll see them rolling over on a ledge like that. You, actually, you can spot them and almost, almost sight cast to them which is a very exciting way of catching them. They, they mature at about 30 centimeters similar to a lot of the, lot of the reef fish and they spawn between June uh, to January off KZN's northern area, northern coast and southern Mozambique. So that's when it's most likely to catch them. It's, it's also a winter species. Guys, like a lot, of the, a lot of the fish we target in these rocky ledges, a pushing tide is going to be the ideal time to target them. Because this is when the fish move along with that water that's pushing up onto the ledge so they can get to the weed that's on those ledges. Uh, rocky ledges, gullies is where you're going to be targeting them. You're not throwing far, it's, it's 20 to 30 meter casts at most. Um, and also you have to use very light tackle. Because if you do target them on heavy tackle, they're very sensitive to any sort of tension. Uh, the stone bream has a very small mouth, so you're going to use small hooks, which you'll see in our in my tackle selection. Um, but yeah, the, with the small mouth, using light tackle, and you get to roll around a lot, you often find the fish a lot easier than using your big heavy 14 foot rod, and you're not going to enjoy the fight at all. You want to you want to have fun while you're out there. So using the light tackle makes it a lot easier to move around, find the stone bream and fish to them. And if you hook a big boy about two kilos, you're going to have a lot of fun on that little coffee grinder. Okay guys, in terms of tackle selection, what I would use for the bronze room, as we spoke, very light tackle. So my weapon of choice is a little, a little coffee grinder rod with a small grinder on it. I've got a seven foot crossfire, very nice fast action, cast a nice little uh, bait quite a far away if you needed to, but as I say, you're mostly just flicking. To that, paired little crossfire 2500. It's got more than enough capacity and enough drag for what you need to do, and it's a very, it's a cheap little outfit to buy. Uh, onto that crossfire, 15 pound J braid. As we've spoken about many times, the J braid breaks well above what it's rated as. You you can go down as low as eight pound if you want to. But the 15 pound gives you a little bit more abrasion resistance if he does take you around the rock so you get a bigger fish. And to that short little mono leader, about a meter of say 0 0.6, 0 0.55 thereabouts, just to give you a little bit of stretch and a little bit of invisibility. To that, uh, Ray is gonna go through a trace with you guys, but what the hooks I'd use on the trace, the little ring chinu, you've seen how well they work for bronze bream, only for the stone bream, we're gonna downsize quite a lot because of their small mouth. To, for me, a size six is the perfect hook. Slight bent back, sets nicely in the corner if you uh, snell the knot. And yeah, it's just, it's a brilliant hook for them. Hooks them nice, it's nice and sharp, chemically sharpened. And you're gonna get even that bigger fish. It is quite a strong hook, so you're not gonna open it up. So guys, get out there, take your light stuff with you. The, this combo that we've gone through also doubles up very nicely to throw small spoons at Chad. Um, and other little kingies, but yeah, get out there, have some fun, and enjoy the light tackle fishing. Cheers. <laughs>